The Kasubi tombs are located in the Kampala district of Uganda. The tomb, courtyard, and surrounding structures comprise the UNESCO World Heritage Site, along with the surrounding, traditionally farmed agricultural land. In February 2009, Plowman Craven Scott Cedarleaf traveled to Uganda and met with Prince James of the Buganda Kingdom. Mr. Cedarleaf used photography and high-definition survey to digitally document the tomb, the main courtyard, and the gatehouse. The tomb site is accessed through a gatehouse, which first leads to a small courtyard and then to the larger courtyard. The main courtyard is clearly dominated by the tomb, Muzibu Azala Mampanga. The main structure entombs four Buganda kings, known as Kabakas. The Buganda kingdom has thrived in this region of Africa for 700 years and is still a political force within modern-day Uganda. The site of the tomb was originally a palace for the Kabaka, but in 1884 it was converted into the then Kabaka's tomb. A new tradition began when the three following kings were also buried within Muzibu Azala Mampanga. Previously, no two kings were buried in the same location. This has made the tomb the most important burial site and one of the most significant cultural and spiritual locations of the Buganda people. Like the gatehouse, the tomb is constructed with the traditional methods and made from wood timber, thatch, and wattle and daub. These organic materials are fragile, but local tradition dictates that the Ngeye clan, one of the eldest of the 50 Bugandan clans, is tasked with maintaining the structures within the heritage site. As the only people allowed to work on the structure, the traditional knowledge and skill is passed within the clan from generation to generation. In a single day, nearly 90 million data points were gathered by the 3D laser scanner creating a digital record of some of the structures within the park, including the partial interior of the tomb. Some of the interior tombs, however, have restricted access because they are believed to be the dwelling place of the souls of the deceased Kabakas. This digital record is important for conservation because although the monument is regularly maintained with traditional construction methods, the organic nature of the materials makes them highly susceptible to certain damaging forces, particularly fire. If something were to ever occur, the highly detailed and precise digital record will be used as the blueprint for repair or reconstruction work. The digital nature of the data also allows for ease of information sharing and dissemination. As the first sub-Saharan project documented by both Plowman Craven and Syark, we realize the importance of stressing the cultural significance of not only this site, but many others throughout Africa.